everybody. I'm Neil. I'm from Coda Payments. Thanks for coming along. Uh, first, I want to tell you about a problem, a problem in Southeast Asia uh, across all of the emerging markets in Southeast Asia. Credit card penetration and the penetration of debit cards that could be used to make purchases online is incredibly low. Just 3% of Southeast Asian adults have a credit card. As a result, there's a huge swath of consumers in this region who are locked out of e-commerce and m-commerce. We started Coda to try to do something about this. Coda is what we call a multi-channel payment gateway. A regular payment gateway is just a company that will help you accept credit card payments. What Coda does is it will help a merchant accept a whole bunch of different kinds of payments. Actually, the one thing that we don't do is credit cards. We support direct carrier billing, which gives customers the ability to pay for a purchase that they're making online using their prepaid or their postpaid mobile account. We, su we support bank transfers. About a third of Southeast Asians do have a bank account, and so customers can use their bank account to pay for a purchase, even if they don't have a linked credit card or debit card. We work with convenience store chains so that customers can walk in and pay cash at something like a 7-Eleven. And we support a lot of other uh, sort of niche payment channels as well. All of this adds up to incredible reach for the merchants that we serve. And it's very easy for merchants to integrate with us. It's a super simple implementation. They can put us into their website. They can put us into their app. Something that Coda offers that really nobody else does is pan Southeast Asia coverage. With the single connection, with the single commercial agreement, we can help you monetize all across the region. This is what our network of payment channels looks like. As you can see, we work with some of the biggest telcos in the region. We work with uh, some of the most recognizable retail chains uh, in Southeast Asia, as well as some of the biggest consumer banks. This allows us to collect payments from more than half a billion customers across the region. It's really amazing reach. And it's taken us almost three years to build this network. When you think about online commerce in Southeast Asia, probably what springs to mind is e-commerce. Zalora, Lazada, these are the guys that get all of the attention. But the thing about e-commerce is that you can always collect payment for a purchase via cash on delivery. You send out a courier with the item that the customer purchased, but before you give it to them, you collect the cash. We've targeted merchants who don't have that capability, specifically any merchant that's selling digital content or an online service, something where there's no physical opportunity to collect cash. These are the merchants that have the biggest pain point. In Southeast Asia, these are game publishers, mobile game publishers and online game publishers. So they've been our first target when it comes to merchant acquisition. This is a huge business in Southeast Asia. It's coming up on $2 billion a year, has the potential to grow to $5 billion a year. Those are big numbers, even in comparison to e-commerce, which, like I said, gets a lot, of, a lot more hype. We serve some of the biggest online and mobile game publishers in Southeast Asia. Our proposition really resonates with these guys who have such a difficult time monetizing users in this region. We take a lot of pride in the user experience of using Coda as a payment gateway, as a, as a customer. Uh, if you go to a website and you decide to pay using a Coda payment channel, a modal window will appear while you're still on the merchant's site and will give you instructions on how to complete a purchase. This example is a customer who's trying to pay using a bank transfer. If you try to, use a, if you try to pay using a bank transfer uh, using Coda, we'll issue you a unique payment code. You'll then go to your mobile banking app on your phone, your online banking, or an ATM. You'll key in that payment code, and the exact amount of money that you need to pay will be debited from your account and credited to us. The instant you've done that, we'll let the merchant know so that they can go ahead and fulfill your purchase. It's a super simple user experience, and it's a super simple ex experience across our different payment channels. The Goliath in our business is not what you might think. PayPal, Braintree, the traditional payment gateways, they're basically not present. And they're not present because most customers don't have credit cards. Our biggest competitor is a company called MOL Global. 
MOL is Malaysia-based. It listed on NASDAQ for $800 million last year. It's a big business that we're contesting. There's two important differences between Coda and MOL. From a customer perspective, the biggest difference is with MOL, you need an MOL account, you need an MOL password, and you need an MOL balance in a wallet before you can make a payment. As you just saw with Coda, there's no need for any of that. You make a payment directly to the merchant. We try to keep that user experience as frictionless as possible. When it comes to the merchant value proposition, it's simple. Coda is cheaper. We've been growing incredibly fast over the prior 12 months. These are month-on-month -month growth figures in terms of total payment value processed, revenue, and gross profit. The reason all of those lines look about the same is because our business model is super simple. Every time we process a transaction, we charge the merchant, and we share some of what we charge the merchant with the payment channel. That means our revenue model is very clear and very sustainable. Every transaction that we process is profitable. Coda was founded by three of us, myself, my co-founder Paul Leishman, and my other co-founder Bobby Choi. Paul and I worked together before we started Coda at the GSMA, which is the Global Industry Association of Mobile Network Operators, helping telcos in emerging markets think about what they could do in payments. Bobby, our technical co-founder, his background is also in mobile payments. He worked for a company called Danal in South Korea, which is basically a mature version of Coda. Uh, before he joined us. We are venture backed. Uh, we've raised two rounds of financing. Uh, our lead investor is GMO. GMO operates the uh, number one online payment gateway in Japan. Uh, and Rakuten, who you probably know, largest e-commerce player in Japan, uh, is also one of our strategic investors. We have our head office here in Singapore, we're a Singapore company, a very large office in Jakarta. Uh, and a small engineering team who sits in Silicon Valley. That's it. What questions do you have?